You're fat. Not necessarily. No, you're fat. I'm, I'm, look, girl, you're fat. I'm not looking you're for fat. insecure men. You need to lose weight. Men don't want fat <laughs> chicks. Men don't want fat chicks. You're going to keep pushing me, and I'm going to just tell man. you. To... Get off my phone, fat girl. <laughs>
It makes you a mammal. We do. We do. It makes you a mammal. A cat can carry a baby. It means nothing. 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 And, and more and more women need, and more and more men need to start telling these women, just because you can have a kid doesn't make you special. It makes you a female. Y'all all, y'all want for all this fucking credit for we men build skyscrapers and nuclear power plants just because they can have sex and reproduce. They think this is that they, they think they're inventors. They think they're in no, no. Women think they're inventors because they can give birth. You can't even do that without us. We give you the spark of life. It makes us equal. We're not equal. We're not equal. We're just not equal. Women actually think that it's like, well, he made the Mona Lisa. You made the Mount Rushmore. Uh, this is particle fusion. This is space travel. This is virtual reality. I had a baby. I've heard women say that when men are sitting around talking about the things that they created with their mind out of nothing. I've heard women try to come in and sun inventors. Well, you guys think that just because you can come up with these machinations and this and that, it pales in comparison to a woman. It was even in Terminator 2. Sarah Connor tried that shit when she talked to Miles Dyson, talking about it's men like you who made it to such and so forth. Chick, you had a baby. The problem is today, far too many of you women think you're fucking special. You're not special. You're just a woman. We're not a, you're going to rank us. The only group of women, think about how arrogant women are today. Your great, great grandmother had eight children and she had to go out and wash white women's floors and pick cotton and beans and everything else. And she still came home and still found a way to make dinner for her kids and her husband. And do all the stuff today. Y'all act cause like y'all have one freaking baby. You get pregnant with one baby and y'all, oh, I'm so tired. Oh, 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 I need to take my zinc and my this and my that. And I need to go get one of the worst, worst things that ever happened to, uh, to America is the, the parental mommy thing, the mommy complex. When they start making mommy magazines and all these helicopter ass parents, this is what's going on in China with the little kings. And, the, and they got all that power over a kid. Yeah, of course you're going to try to make it seem special. I made a baby. So what? We appreciate it. But you don't get extra credit. You made a baby. We gave you an epidural. You made a baby. Okay, we got to pay for that joker. I want to get mad when you say that shit too. Ugh. He must hate his mama. My mama's probably cracking up. So my mama thinks some of y'all are some of the weakest ass. They're like, what do these women think they special because they had a baby? Mm -hmm. My daughter loves it too. So I know she probably cracking up like, dang, dad. That's right. This is why I love being from Oklahoma. Go on a farm and you want to see how special birth is? Go on a farm. Pigs do it every day. Cows, chickens. Well, not chicken. Cows. All animals get. <laughs> They're going to be mad at that one. He compared us to poultry. He compared us to, to farmyard animals. No, I compared you to other animals. How dare him? Your mama black. Does he not know? Oh my God, I'm gonna tell you right now. That's why he, he's gay, he's gay. You know how many, anyway, that gay. Leave your pretty friend around me. Let's see how long that lasts. That's why I, Big Shirley, Big Shirley love calling me gay. Big Shirley love calling me gay. Just because my erection doesn't work around you, Memph you Mississippi variants doesn't make me gay. It makes me heterosexual and my eyes work. I don't want to bang a 300 pound blonde chick with a face tattoo and Cartier, fake Cartier glasses on. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god y'all know what I'm talking about looking like <laughs> oh my god oh my god oh who was that it was it was uh young thug Lil Wayne Birdman that chick looked like Birdman talking to me 
Chick, you look like Birdman calling me gay. Heterosexual men don't want to bang Birdman ass face women. Mississippi variants, dude. I'm telling you, Mississippi variants is a bitch. I wish I could pull up a picture. I'm going to post it on my story because I responded to a Mississippi ass variant. <laughs> Lifestyle on the track, bitch. <laughs> Every time y'all see one of them Mississippi ass variants, y'all just go. I don't feel it. I'm gonna tuck up the men in the buck buck from right town. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna go to hell. Oh my god, I'm going to hell. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Only time when the muck buck and give me the get kick, but yeah, yeah. Light down on the truck, bitch. <laughs> she probably took a comment down because she know I'm about to just flame her up. Knife down on the track, bit. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm looking for that post. I'm going post. I'm a. I'm a post it up there. She probably took it down. Angelique. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? I can. How old are Hi. you? I'm thirty-one. Thirty-one. Okay. Uh, what part of the country are you in? Um, I'm in the Bay Area in California. Okay. What do you got for me? You... Um, I would just like your insight oh, and you some right advice. To the Bay Area, man. It's just like, oh, brain. <laughs> go ahead. I, I'm sorry. You cut out. What was that? What'd I was you say? saying something. Go ahead. Okay. Um, I would like your insight on, um, kind of basically assessment and advice for me um to find are you calling in uh, on the match. topic or are you calling in on your own thing um on anything i kind of like okay. i i'm kind of at this place where i'm seeing all right but so do I you have anything on the match. topic high value um, men well, i am a alpha females um, yeah i am a single independent i own and run my own business okay go ahead um so as far as um i haven't found anybody that i like is my problem you have as far as a man as far as a man yes what was the long, longest relationship you've ever had uh eight years how long ago was that uh that was that ended in 2012 but after that i was in a six-year relationship the math doesn't add up. You how old? I'm 31. Eight and six, that's 14. What age are you counting relationships from? Uh, My eight-year relationship I had since I was 16. Okay. Well, that, that uh, we count from 18. So okay. from 18 to 24, y'all broke it. Why? Okay, then, from, then after you broke, after age 24, you got into a six-year relationship? Correct. What do you mean you haven't found anybody you like? You've been with two men for um, your adult life. Well, uh, Why didn't I, one of those men ask you to marry him? Um, well, the first one I was going to marry, but um, it was emotionally unfulfilling for me. So Hold on. Stop. Was, stop. Stop. You don't get eight years and say emotionally unfulfilling. Eight years. Yes. Did he propose to you? Uh, he did not propose to me, but when we did break up, he was sad about us not getting married. It, it doesn't matter. Was, there's no, no, there's, no. If he didn't yeah, propose, yeah, yeah, there's yeah, no not yeah. getting married. Who broke up? Right, Who right, broke right, off yeah. the relationship? I did. All right. And what did he do for a living? Um, he worked for a Toyota shipping department. He did what? Come in from the port. 
Toyota. Okay, so you made more money than him. Uh, at, well, that was my earlier relationship, so not at that time, no. Okay, then the next relationship. Then the next relationship, yes, I made more money. And what did that guy do? Uh, he was a construct. He did construction. Did you make substantially more money than him? Um, not. I wouldn't say substantially, but uh, like maybe fifteen, twenty thousand dollars more. All right. More. So here's where we come at this. You've had an eight year and a six year relationship. I've been single for three. Okay. Um. But you, what do you think you're supposed to find out here? What do I think I'm supposed to find? I think maybe, um, I mean, that's a good question because yeah. I'm at a place where um, I can provide everything for myself. So um, I guess what I'm looking for in a relationship now is just another human being that I like as a companion. But I see the pro the issue with that. Um, because that's not what most men are actually looking for. They want somebody that is, um, you know, going to do what they want to do, basically. Oh, no. And guys, before we proceed with the rest of the video, I want to quickly chip in with something small and with that. I still encourage you to keep checking the Godfather's videos on YouTube. He has so much amazing videos exposing these modern women. And this lady is just being exposed right now. And I'm going to tell you why. This is it. She said she's just looking for another human being. It's not true. She's looking for someone that is earning more than her. That's a statement of fact. And the next thing too, she said, most guys don't just want a lady, but a lady that is going to do whatever they will say or accept means guys want submissive women so it means she ran across guys that really have money or something like that guys that are high value she ran across them but the problem that she has is she thinks that she can have those type of guys and still behave anyhow she want to behave and they say no you gotta abide by my terms i'm high value i'm rare you are not it's crazy to me that women want an exceptional guy and expecting that exceptional guy to be submissive to her in the first place, for that guy to be an exceptional guy, he has to be something, someone that is very dominant, someone that is, you know, that doesn't submit to people. That is one thing you gotta know. So, wanting to be with a guy that is top tier or a guy that is making more money than you, that guy is more than likely going to be more dominant than you do because the dominance made him successful. It's one thing that most women don't know. Guys, let's continue with the content. But remember, keep checking his video. He has so much intellectual videos, videos that exposes the modern woman's mindset, videos that you're just going to get a low, lot of value from. So keep checking his videos. Kevin Samuels on YouTube. Let's keep moving. What did your dad say? What does my dad say? My dad says... Uh, oh, let me just cut to, the, let me cut to the chase, man. Have you, have you been... Have you, okay, were your mom and dad married? Uh, yes, they were. All right. Are they still married? No. All right. He's I don't married. know what you're looking for, ma'am, but you have a lot of eight year relationship and a six year relationship. You've been sober, you've been by yourself for three years in the Bay area. Therapy would be good. Number one. Number two. Um, if did I did the whole, therapy? hold on. I got more people to get to. If I did the whole height, what, what size dress, what dress size do you wear? Uh, 12. Okay. You need to lose weight. It's a competitive market out here. And as an average looking woman, it's nice that you can take care of yourself, but I don't know what it is you're expecting. Uh, sounds to me like you're looking for answers in other people. Because what you said about men, um, men want you to do what they want you to do. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but it sounds like a very immature way of looking at relationships, which doesn't surprise me because you've been with two people. You're, you, you're chronologically one age. You're emotionally mm -hmm. far much younger. And you need to catch those two things up. Well, 
and I understand that. That's why I spent the last three years uh, single in therapy, celibate, working on myself. Okay. Um, but where's the gym? Where's the gym? Oh, I am. Um, I. Uh, See, I'm gonna say. Let me back up. If you've been in therapy actually, for three years, I, I unless yeah. there's a clinical diagnosis, therapy just becomes another pacifier. There should be forward progress. Okay. Nobody should be in therapy for three years in no relationship. That's broken therapy. Unless there's a well, clinical di- listen, I got other people to get to. Unless there's a clinical diagnosis, okay. it's just another placebo. You dating and mating is competitive, and if you want to have the best shot at, at dealing with a, a broader swath of men having being picked by different caliber men you have to be physically fit and attractive that's a dress size four but doesn't that no 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 no, doesn't no, that no mean that i'm looking for more um that means you need to be fit but but but, but okay. see why you can see and right there is a problem it is the problem because Why? I think that's just different beli- different beliefs. No, it's not different beliefs. You weigh more than most men. I You weigh more than most men. <laughs> I'm trying to be nice, I mean, man, but I don't want to go there. How tall are you? Um I'm five six. How much do you weigh? Uh one sixty. You weigh more than most men. The average height of an American man is five foot ten. His weight is one sixty six. But doesn't that mean that? That I'm means fat. you need to lose weight. Why are you still not pushing this fat. point? You're fat. Because not necessarily. No, you're fat. Uh, look, girl, you're fat. I'm not looking. You're for fat. Men. You need to lose weight. Men don't want fat <laughs> chicks. Men don't well, want fat chicks. You gonna keep pushing me, and I'm gonna just tell man. you. Get off my phone, fat girl. You big fat ass out to the bay somewhere. There's reason you ain't with nobody. Big fat ass. You think you'll come on my show and talk crazy to me? Carry your big fat ass on out there somewhere. Well, that's a different standard. Well, yeah, you want it broke, motherfuckers. That's why you had a motherfucker working, shucking oysters, and somebody else unloading trucks. And guys, that brings us to the end of today's video. Thanks for watching. More respect on the legend, the Godfather. May he so rest in peace and may his name stay alive forever. Guys, continue to check his videos on YouTube. He has so much amazing videos exposing this modern woman, feminist, you know, ratchetness and all those things. He's exposing them in his videos. And I think if you are not watching it, you are doing yourself a very big disservice. Male self-improvement, everything you just need. From a good video that you can learn a lot from, I think you get no better place than the Godfather's channel. So I think you should be doing it now. Let's talk about this lady, for instance. She came to look for an information, but I always say something. When they come to argue with him or ask him questions, they, they are always asking questions but having answers for those questions that they are asking. So if you tend not to give them the kind of answers that they have in their heads that they are expecting from you, then... It become, you know, them starting their wretched attitude and all those things, starting to speak, you know, bad languages and all those things. So, and this is one of those examples. This lady came in looking for information to why she's not meeting guys that she likes. Guys that she likes are guys that are typically making money more than her. That's the nature of every female. They like women, men that make money more than them. So, but with this type of attitude that when someone press you some more, you are going to release it. It means even if that kind of guy come in front of you, you are more than likely going to expose yourself, the ratchet attitude just in front of him because just a little pressing from Godfather, you are able to say this crap in front of him. That tells you that you don't have the right attitude to get guys that are high value. But those are the kind of guys that she's looking for. And it's sad. He told you you are just overweight. Most men don't weigh the same way. And that have to get you triggered. I mean, you don't have the right attitude. You are not coming in to get the kind of information you want to be- for the betterment of your life and your dating life. You just came in to hear what most media stations are doing. Just tell you things that will make you comfortable so that you can get the results you are looking for and you keep on spending in the economies. So, it is what it is. 
let's talk about the first lady that said no let's talk about the first lady that talk about men and women are the same because women are able to give birth or something for giving birth or bringing child to a term that one has to do with both men because a man have to plant a seed in you for you to be able to give birth so it's 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 equal ground like it's just something that we all have to take 50 50 credit for that but we can say you go through the labor and all those things and nobody is taking that labor credit from you guys what we are basically saying is men and women cannot be the same just because we do different things and because we were assigned to do different things it means we are equal a pilot and cabin crew in the plane they are all responsible to get into the destination that the plane is going but that does not mean that the cabin crew and the pilot are the same they are not the same in whatsoever way though they are all a team that is working together but we have hierarchy this one is bigger than everybody so that's how it is men and women are not the same just the fact that just for the fact that women are able to give birth like he said cats are able to carry a baby every animal is able to carry a baby we are not saying women are animals or something but we are just telling you that that doesn't make you special that makes you different from a man that makes you a woman we are not able to give birth because we are not women so that alone is a different. Anybody say men and women are equal or the same. I think that person need mental checkup. Just the person is not thinking right. The person is not having, like the person is just not intelligent enough. You are saying women can give birth and that alone is a different. So we are not equal. We are not the same. By her own argument that she made women can give birth and she, they should get credit for it. Yes, they should get credit for uh, uh, being through the labor and all those things. And that alone, or that by itself, is just a difference. It's a major difference. Men can give birth. Women can. So we are not saying women are useless. No, that's not what we say. Women are good at something and men are good at something. But that is that thing to make the world run better. It's tend to uh, favor men. I think men are good at things that make the world move. Women are not good at that. That's just what we are saying. Guys, that brings us to the end of today's video. Thanks for watching. More respect on the legend, the godfather. May he so rest in peace and may his name stay alive forever. Guys, continue to check his videos on YouTube. He has so much amazing videos there. Stay away from the work system. Stay away from the sisterhood. Stay away from these feminists. And just stay strong. Focus on yourself. Focus on your self-improvement. Hit the gym. Like I always say, going to the gym is a must. It's not something that is optional. It's not optional. It's a must as a guy. You know, when you build yourself, when you go to the gym, it gives you confidence to be able to do so many things. And you're always looking for women. I think gym can help you with that. Until we meet in the next video, peace. I'm out.